Hey y'all, it's me again, Valerie, and welcome to my yarn room. Today, I'm going to go back to the basics. I was informed that my basic stitches video was kind of hard to see. So, I'm going to try to teach several videos over this week on just the basic stitches and stuff like that for crochet. And most of the time, with the basic stitches, you can make a ton of stuff so pay attention <laughs> okay anyway so the first thing is get your yarn now just for this tutorial I'm using just a number four acrylic yarn okay and in this I'm going I want you to practice just practice these stitches over and over and over and pull it out and do it again and pull it out and do it again until you know the stitch well so that if somebody tells you um, like a, a pattern or something like that and it calls for a double crochet you're like oh okay I know that stitch or chain three you know it just practice the stitches that don't worry about making things yet just practice the stitches and get to know them I mean to where that if like I said it calls for a half double crochet you're like oh wait a minute I know that stitch okay and you can do it all right so the first thing that I want to teach is how I make a slip knot okay now if you've got other ways that you know how great do it my way don't mean that it's the best way okay so yeah if if you know different ways or something like that just do it your way but if you don't this is how I taught myself how to do a slipknot and I'm sorry, but my camera keeps focusing and unfocusing, and I don't know why. So, sorry. I'm going to try not to move as much, like coming closer and back up and stuff like that, because that's what's making it do what I think. All right, so the way I do a slip knot is I hold the yarn like this with my short tail facing me okay and I take those two fingers and I go and pull it up a little bit and I turn facing the other direction open them fingers up and grab that piece of yarn right there And pull it through and then you can put your hook on it and tighten it down and that's your slip knot well I got my ends twisted but yeah that that's a slip knot that's all it is to it let's do it again just to be sure and I know I'm out of focus I'm sorry ain't nothing I can do about it okay so 
hold your yarn, put your fingers under with your fingers facing each other. Okay? Put your fingers under, turn your fingers, grab that yarn, and pull it through. Okay? And then it's really easy just to put your hook on and tighten it down. I'm looking through my camera, so it's kind of difficult for me to see what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, okay. But when you tighten it down, don't tighten it too much. You want it to slide really smooth on your hook, okay? And it, to practice this, it doesn't matter what hook you use, what size. Um, mine is uh, a boy uh, 5.75 millimeter, which I think is comparable to a uh, Susan Bates 6 millimeter, which would be a, a J10, I think. Okay, so anyway, that's your slip knot. That's your first step. Okay, your little hook right here. When you start, you want it facing you. Okay? Now, I hold my hook like this. Now, some people hold their hook like this, like a pencil. Either way does not matter. It's whatever's comfortable for you. Make it fun. That's all I ask. If you just to have fun with your hook and your yarn. It it should be fun. It's fun for me. I love it. But now we're going to learn how to do single or no, not single. Now we're going to learn how to chain. Okay. So like I said, the little the little hook right there, I'm going to turn it to where it's facing me. And I'm going to go under my yarn like that. Okay? Now my hook's still facing me. But I'm going to turn it to where... It, I'm going to turn it to the left. And then I'm going to pull it through that little loop. And that's a chain. Okay? So my hook is facing me. I'm going to wrap my yarn around it. My hook is still facing me. I'm going to turn it to the left. And I'm going to pull it through. There's two. My hook is facing me. I'm going to wrap my yarn. I'm going to turn it to the left. And I'm going to pull it through. We rolling now. It's facing me. Turn it to the left. And pull it through. What that does is that hook will catch this piece of the yarn and going down through the gap right there will pull it through. Now, if you don't turn your hook, it ain't going to go through because it's going to catch both them pieces of yarn. So you got to turn it to the left and pull it through. So you wrap it, turn it, and pull it through. You wrap it, turn it, and pull it through. Wrap it, turn it, and pull it through. And that's all it is to it all it is to it and you can see your little V's going down in a line right there so this is going to be all for today's video this will be uploaded on Saturday yeah okay so practice this 
as much as you can on Saturday after I get it uploaded. And then Sunday, what we're going to do is we're going to work on our chain and we're going to make single crochets in our chain. Okay? Now, just keep practicing and keep practicing. You got this. I know you do. It's so, so simple. And don't worry about it if, if it don't look good at first. Okay? Um, a lot of a lot of people have a problem with what um, more experienced crocheters call tension. Now, tension. You see how I just wrap my finger around the yarn? Okay. Depending on how tight I hold that yarn or how loose I hold that yarn, that's going to determine your tension. If you get your yarn and you turn it and you're having a hard time pulling it through, let up on that yarn a little bit. Or if you wrap your yarn and you turn it and it just glides through like melted butter, maybe you want to put just a little bit more tightness on holding the yarn on your, your finger. Now, not everybody holds their yarn like that. Some people hold their yarn like that. That's a double way to assure your tension. Uh, some people um, hold their yarn like this. Some people, I have seen them wrap two or three times on their finger make it to where it's comfortable for you. Once you get that down and try different ways. Don't be afraid to try different ways of holding your yarn and your hook. Cuz it it needs to be comfortable for you. If not, you going your hands is going to cramp. So, that's all for today. And tomorrow we should continue with the single crochets on our already made chain. All right. I guess I'll see you when I see you. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. My email goes on all my videos. So if you want to email me, you can. All right. See you when I see you. Bye, y'all.